What does Bluetooth have to do with the Viking King? Developed by Swedish company Ericsson, Bluetooth is named after Danish King Harald, who allegedly had a Bluetooth. The Bluetooth technology unites devices, like old Harald once united Denmark and Norway in the 10th century. And a fun fact, if you combine the rune letters H for Harald and B for Bluetooth, you get the iconic logo. You probably use Swedish innovations every day, perhaps without knowing it. Skype, Pacemaker, Spotify. Here are even two Swedish innovations in one. In 2021, Sweden ranked second in the Global Innovation Index. We have a few ideas why. Sweden introduced compulsory schooling already in 1842. A vital component in the country's journey from poor agriculture nation to innovation leader. Today, about one third of the population has post-secondary education. In the 1990s, the Swedish government pushed out a widely developed broadband network. And Swedes got a head start in the digital era. In 2016, a new goal was set to get all of Sweden connected to high-speed internet by 2025. Committed to innovation, Sweden usually invests more than 3% of the country's GDP in research and development. Most of the money comes from the private sector, and around one quarter is public funding. Some argue that the long cold winter season in Sweden encourages would-be innovators to stay indoors and hone their skills and develop their ideas. If that's true, the Swedish spirit of innovation may just be a force of nature. When more industries are looking for green alternatives, the Swedish focus on sustainability is a competitive advantage. Batteries, zero emission steel, factories powered by green energy and products made of recycled materials. They all rely on innovation. Swedish Ocean Bird will pioneer wing sails to power large ships, reducing emissions up to 90%. Although the sails may have more in common with modern aeroplane wings, we believe Harald Bluetooth would have been proud.